Hi girls and boys, welcome to Elementor Tips and Tricks video clips. In this video I'll talk about image in text or how to make titles more attractive or visually appealing by using Elementor. Titles are usually single color made, but in case you didn't know, you can also fill them up with gradients or images and thus make them more attractive. Nowadays design trends dictate colorful stuff, liquid shapes, blobs, blob images. Uh, so I'm gonna try to spice things up in that fashion. Don't get me wrong, I'm not about to teach you how to design, but rather make you be open for new ideas. Is there any special reason why using image in text? Uh, why would anyone do that? Well, I guess it does, otherwise it wouldn't be invented, so to speak. From designer's point of view in general, there are a few ways to attract or capture user attention on page. By using captivating photos, by using extra bold text or oversized text, maybe use some screaming color text, and now there's an image in text or gradient in text. So to answer the question, why using image in text? Why not? Using colorful titles does make sense when speaking of quote-unquote modern design trends. Maybe that's just my humble opinion. But I kinda like the idea and I was very curious to find out how to do that with Elementor. What you can see on the screen right now is uh, a simple couple of two of so-called card boxes with image, title, some text and action button. So, uh, how a simple couple of these card boxes may evolve from something so simple and boring to something fancy or even too fancy if you want to think about that way. Anyhow, uh, this video is going to be part one of four videos across which I'm about to turn simple card boxes like these into movie star boxes like these. And each next video is going to be a step forward to the final goal to these two card boxes at the very bottom that include uh, these cool gradient borders or image borders around card boxes, fancy blob shaped thumbnails and buttons with image or gradient background beside our image in text title. For the purpose of this and all other tutorials I advise you to get a copy of Elementor Pro. It'll cost you around 50 bucks I think it's 49 more precisely but you'll get something that's worth a whole lot more we'll be using custom CSS panel that is not a part of Elementor free version and if you don't have that custom CSS panel this tutorials and the most likely other tutorials won't make much sense so let's take a look at our top most card box elements. At this point they're kinda boring you can see something like that. You, you've seen something like that hundreds of times already I can bet on that. And if you compare them to card boxes below any of the card boxes below you must admit that these first two look uh, a little bit crappy. Before I begin I gotta say that everything I do here must work in all modern browsers. So I'll test all in Firefox, Safari and Chrome. Hence I'm a Mac user. I won't be doing any test in Edge or Internet Explorer, but if these two are considered to be a part of Modern Browsers Fellowship, then just great. If not, feel free to report any non-working thing or any misbehavior if you want to in comment section below. I also need to point out that we are going to use background clip CSS property for the purpose of image and text tutorials. It's well supported property across all known browsers today so you don't need to be afraid it ain't gonna work. It is not widely used property though 
that's why I was about to point it out. Why do we need to use custom CSS panel in Elementor? So, this one. Let me briefly explain. Elementor allows us to set a background to our heading widget, but that's something we don't need. That's our heading widget. That's the background panel that we can use. Okay. What we need is the ability to set the background to the title itself. We must be able to add background to our H2 element directly, so the background panel becomes pointless or useless in that sense. The only possible way to add background directly to our H2 element is to use Elementor's custom CSS panel, so we are about to write our own CSS code by hand. Let's do that right now. Hopefully everything makes sense so far. First thing I'm going to do, I'll type in the word selector. As it reads, use selector to target wrapper element. Wrapper element is the heading widget itself. Okay? By using selector, we are able to refer our heading widget. Selector is just a shortcut to quite a long sausage-like class reference to the target element. Selector keyword is here to make things as simple as possible, and Elementor takes care about everything else. After using Selector, we have to be more specific and say that we need an access to our Elementor heading title, which is the class name reference to our h2 element. h2 element is a child element of heading widget. By using developer tools, I'll go to front-end now, by using developer tools of any browser, we are able to inspect HTML structure of the current page, so let me show you our target element. Right mouse click on our element, inspect element, and this is it. It has a class assigned to it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to simply copy that class name, right mouse click, copy. I'll go back to our custom CSS panel and I'll just paste it here, okay? Selector, element heading title, which is a reference to our H2 element. Now open close curly brackets and we are about to write our own CSS code between these two curly brackets. Just a few, very easy to understand. You're gonna see. First thing, we gotta define background image. So I'm gonna write background background image U, uh, background image U R L open close brackets. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to set it up a little bit later, okay? So, so be patient for a while. Now, the background, background position. Background position is going to be center, 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 which means I am positioning my background image to the center of both vertical and horizontal axis, okay? Now, background size background size is going to be cover cover it has to cover entire section if I select the contain there might be some gaps on left or right hand side of the, of the title and now the background clip property background clip set to text okay this is the star of today's show Background clip set to text property is supposed to mask everything else but the area covered by the text. As simply as that. So I'm going to repeat once again. Background clip text property is supposed to mask everything else but the, but the area or portion of image covered by the text itself. Okay. And 
one little thing is left to do, which is this web kit background clip also set to text what it means we have to add this directive too because webkit based browsers like google chrome and safari do not understand background clip property without that webkit prefix so it just you just here to to tell google chrome and safari what to do Firefox is way smarter and hopefully other two guys will catch up soon. Now, in order to find out the path to my image file in media library, I'll open background panel simply because it lets me select the file for media library, but I ain't gonna select the file for real. I just need to copy file path, okay? So I'll open media library. I'll highlight my target image and I'm gonna copy URL okay right mouse click copy I'm gonna close me media library and I'm glow I'm gonna close background panel as well let's get back to custom CSL CSS and simply paste path to my image file inside these URL brackets okay so this is it we still cannot see the image in text but that's because we have to make the text transparent so we can actually see the underlying image okay let's do that select style tab text color and set transparency to zero and here it is our image in text great let's update and take a look in Firefox first Firefox first all looks good now let's take a look in Safari uh, refresh alrighty and finally Google Chrome refresh there it is image in text alrighty now as I mentioned before we could also use gradient in text instead of image in text and that's what includes one very simple change to our existing piece of CSS code first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, cancel temporary only temporary cancel this background image and create new one background image okay now I need to define my my gradient and this is how I do that uh, for the purpose of the demonstration I'm going to use linear gradient so I have to write linear gradient and then uh, make it go from left to right so I'm gonna type in to right and I have to choose two colors so let's say red and yellow and here it is our gradient title as simple as that I, I could use I can use uh, hex code defined colors like this uh, let me paste copy paste another one in place of yellow and there you go so this is my gradient text that's how you do it in Elementor now I'm gonna delete this then I'm gonna delete this and I'll just get things back to image in text because we won't be using gradients I did it because I just wanted to show you how easy it actually is okay uh, this is our background image update okay now our second card box title is still naked and what I'm gonna do now is to select copy all the custom styles from the first car box and simply paste into custom CSS panel of the second one okay select copy uh, highlight my second car box title go to advanced tab open custom CSS panel paste now 
go to style in order to make the text transparent and set transparency to zero. Alrighty. Now I don't want to use identical image for the title background here so I'll open background panel in order to access media library, copy file path and select different image. Okay, so I'll go to background uh, I'm gonna use this image uh, highlight URL right mouse click, copy close media library close background get back to custom CSS select everything between my URL brackets and paste again so here it is my second card box title is done okay let's check now everything in, in browsers Firefox is doing well Safari refresh is doing well as two and Google Chrome refresh that's it let's try to make the viewport smaller so we can test responsiveness yeah it's all good okay we are actually done the next video will be about making will be about making uh, this fancy gradient warriors so hopefully you enjoyed if you did give me a thumb up subscribe spread the word share comment if you do that I'll make more elementary tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, stay tuned!